Welcome to the art department. Here at NLS, we offer art fine art, art textiles and art photography. This is offered at Key Stage 3, Key Stage 4 and Key Stage 5. So we are fortunate to have a lot of materials and resources and specialised teachers and specialised rooms. Photography is new in Year 9, it's a brand new course and that's been very popular at GCSE uh, with the students. At Key Stage 3, students enter with very little skills from primary school. It is our aim to get those students engaged with drawing as quickly as possible. So being able to hold their pencil correctly, shade and tone, and draw in proportion a still life is what we concentrate on for the first term. So we support students with tasks like drawing a sphere, drawing a cube, or drawing a cylinder, which then we then apply onto a bottle onto a box and onto a cylinder cat tin can. From this, we then study colour th color theory and the colour theory we look at is how to paint with the primary, the secondary and the tertiary tones. From those basic skills, we then teach year seven to paint uh, landscapes and seascapes so that they have a broad understanding of how to paint with different brush strokes and different types of techniques. In year eight, students then start to develop their skills in a wide range of material. It's our aim to give them a broad understanding of how to use ink, watercolours, soluble pen, biro, and other materials that they can use to record with. Recording is very important in art. It's the fundamental part of a student being able to create their own work later on at Key Stage 4. Around the school we have plenty and a wide variety of different types of Year 8 work. We've been fortunate to have an exhibition at the Leamington Society of Artists who framed the, the, the students' work and that was fantastic. The Year 9, Year 9 art, when, when students choose a GCSE option, they choose in Year 9. Uh, students will then take their skills that they've learned at Key Stage 3 and use those to progress further in their chosen subject. Uh, in art, we study self-portraiture, but we take that into surreal identity, so that students who do not feel very solid in drawing the face or a realistic face can then change that into something that's a little bit unusual. And uh, that helps certain students feel more comfortable if they don't feel they can do a realistic portrait. Uh, we then go on to Key Stage 4 GCSE project in Year 10. Um, this project is worth 60% and then in Year 11 they take the external set task which is 40%. Over that course they are encouraged to be as independent as possible, researching artists, analysing their work, experimenting with materials, exploring how these can be put together in their own way to create a final outcome that is unique and personal to them. In photography, students will be using colour, light-based media uh, and changing lens positions, uh, focusing on year nine, and then that will be taken into a GCSE portfolio. Um, during Key Stage 3 photography, you will experience uh, a lot of uh, lighting techniques and you will be using a com compact camera. If you choose to take GCSE as an option, you will learn how to use a more complex digital single lens reflex or the DSLR cameras to explore and develop key skills and knowledge. In the first term, Year 9 students will study very projects linked to the formal elements. Following this, they will get the opportunity to explore varied materials and techniques with a focus on darkroom processing and varied manipulation techniques. Finally, Year 9s will choose a project of their own to develop from different titles and then present their work in a mini exhibition. Moving into Year 10, students will focus on the formal comp component one, which is a large piece of coursework that makes up 60% of their total award marks. They will be able to develop their own ideas and personalise their project to fit their interests. 
During this year, the students also take part in varied workshops and refine their skills. In Year 11 Photography, students will have the opportunity to refine their main piece of coursework and complete a focus study. This is a shorter piece of work that will address an area of interest to showcase their skills. This is then added to the main coursework component. Finally, in January, students receive a list of titles from the exam board they prepare for, and this project is worth 40%. Moving forward, students may wish to study photography at A level, and they can do this to generate a lot of exciting and forward-thinking projects. Key stage three in art textiles, you will look at a range of different artists and skills, for example, at Key Stage 3, we are currently looking at the work of Lucy Sparrow and Holly Lavelle, who design and make food-inspired products. Pupils will learn how to create their own branded-based products while learning practical skills such as embroidery, stencil, applique, tie-dye, and will be introduced to the sewing machine. In Year 9, in Year 9, the idea is that pupils of art textiles are exposed to a broad number of both construction and decoration skills. Pupils build up a technical file of skills which underpin all their projects. In year nine pupils learn how to weave on looms in a landscape weaving project. They make Christmas stockings and winter gifts. They look at different nationalities in a portrait or self selfie project. They take photos of nature and they use that to create form and pattern in textiles. The idea is that they are confident with all the aspects of textiles before they begin their GCSE. In Year 10, the course starts with a baseline project which lasts a few weeks to introduce pupils to a range of new skills and consolidate past learning. Pupils then start a portfolio project which is worth 60%. Pupils are also um, choosing topics. These topics are personal to them and they may include areas of fashion, climate control, art movements or any other, other genre. Pupils look at the range of artists and designers for inspiration. In Year 11, pupils complete an external assessment set by the exam board and will choose from a range of set questions. This is worth, again, 40%.